Now let's go back and look at this same set of data and say that the question asks us to get the regression equation for this set of data. Okay, so what we would do to get the regression equation is we would go up um, in many tab to the stat tab and we would go regression fitted line plot. It'll look very similar to this scatter plot we had, but let's click that. Let me pull my little menu over here. My Y, remember my Y is the uh, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. I'm sorry, I sound a little like Forrest Gump. Double click. My X is the tar. All right. I've got that. Now, uh, in terms of... Uh, doing this, just click OK, all right? When I click OK, I want you to notice this. It gives me the line, let's put this other scatter plot that we did. Notice it's identical to the scatter plot, but it gives me the best fit for the line going through that. You can see how strong the correlation is, but right under where it says fitted line plot at the top, it's got the equation. Carbon dioxide equals 1.312 times plus. So they might come through or come by and ask, you know, what? Let me pull the calculator up. Predict what the amount of carbon dioxide for um, a cigarette with tar of 10 would be. So I would say, well, okay, 1.3. 1, 2, I'm getting that from that equation, plus 0 0.9056 times 10. I just plugged and chugged equals. So if it had 10, I don't remember the units for the tar, uh, but if it had 10 for the tar, I would predict 10.368 based on this equation, the regression equation for the carbon dioxide. That's a real world application. When we get that equation, we can predict future values as long as they're within the range of data that we have seen. So an application and just to show you how easy it is to get the regression equation.